Hey guys, welcome back to another swatch video. If you are new here, my name is Shemaine and I do lipstick swatches. Today's video, we're gonna be swatching the Sephora Lip Stories. I have swatched so many of the Sephora Lip Stories holiday sets. This one is called the Under the Mistletoe Lipstick Set. And it contains six full-size lipsticks. Actually, the packaging says that you get two for free, so um, you get six for the price of four. So let's just jump right into the swatches. So this shade is called Confetti and it's described as a metallic rose gold. I actually think it's a really fun color for bringing in the New Year's. So if you look closely, you can see the metallic rose gold finish on this lipstick. So pretty. I do feel a little bit of the shimmers in there, which I'm not really happy about. I like it though. It's, it's really fun. So Toast is described as a light nude color and I actually love how this looks. You know, it kind of just blends into one with my face so I would wear it with a darker lip liner but honestly I don't think it looks bad on its own. I like this one. I really do. So Wonderland is described as a rosy mauve. I like this one as well. It's so complimenting. I think these colors will definitely complement a lot of skin tones. And I can certainly add this one to the list. It's really pretty. Well, this one is described as a metallic nude and it does have glitter in it. It looks like some silvery glitters in there. And again, I can also feel the glitters in this one. So, so far we have two metallic shades and I felt the glitter in both of them. But I don't think there's anything special about this one. I think if anything, it's a very plain metallic nude shade, which some people like that. At least it's not loud and out there and it's a more regular day-to-day -day lipstick that you can probably wear despite it having that metallic finish. The good thing is that the metallic finish isn't um, overpowering. So it kind of looks like a lip gloss which makes me see myself wearing it more often compared to the first metallic shade so this is more natural everyday type of nude metallic and honestly i think it will work you know it's just a regular like a clear lipstick with metallic finishes so i think I think I can make this work for me. I would wear this outside just like this. So it's a regular lipstick with a little bit of oomph and some people dig that. Some people don't want the loud, colorful lipsticks all the time and I think 
this is one of those lipsticks. What do you think? So that was my swatches for the Sephora Under the Mistletoe Holiday Set 2020. And what I'm gonna do now is I will wear one of these. I think I'll wear the one that was my favorite shade, which was this new color right here. And this one is called Toast. Very pretty color. And um, we'll see how long these last. So these are a mixture of creamy and metallic textures. And I just want to go over some of the pros while I'm applying this lipstick because I will be wearing this one for the rest of the day so I can get back to you guys and how it performed. But uh, these are valued at 54 on Sephora and you can get them for $29. You get six lipsticks. Uh, the color range for these are amazing. They always do have excellent color ranges. So that is not gonna be an issue for anyone. I can guarantee that. I've been buying these for so long. I know that they have multiple shades available. Uh, another pro is that the creamy lipsticks are extremely creamy. So if you suffer from dry lips, these are gonna be great for you. I guess it can be a pro and a con because creamy lipsticks, clearly they're not gonna last a very long time. But at the same time, you get that hydration and that moisturizing factor, which, which is important for a lot of people. Um, they also smell really great. It's not like a high scent, but it does go away after some time. So you don't have to worry about the smell lingering also they always did have very fun and creative packaging as you can see these will look great on your vanity i always love the packaging for the lip stories and like i mentioned before some of the cons or one of the cons is that the creamy lipsticks you will have to constantly reapply it you will have to baby it because it can smear on your teeth or it can smear on your face so it's a little bit more high maintenance compared to a matte lipstick. If you're okay with that, then these will be great for you. Uh, when it came to the metallic lipsticks, I can feel the glitter in the metallic lipsticks. The shades were so beautiful. The shades are so beautiful, but I do not like feeling the glitter on my lips because I know it's gonna get uncomfortable the longer the day goes on. So that was the only thing I would recommend wearing a lip balm under it just so that as it dries further, it doesn't get more uncomfortable. That would be my only suggestion there. But I already have toast back on as you can see. So I'll be wearing this for the rest of the day and I will check back in with you guys to talk about how it performed. So I will see you later. Hey guys, so I am back for my review of how this lipstick performed. So before I left for the day, this was what I was wearing. This is the shade uh, Toast, which is a light nude color, which looks so good on me. I'm just gonna swatch it here again so you could see. It's such a beautiful nude color. But right now, as you can see on my lips, there is nothing there. I filmed around 2 p.m. and right now it's 6.57, almost 7 p.m. So it's been five hours since I put this lipstick on and it's completely gone. Keep in mind, it is a creamy finish so you cannot expect it to last for a very long time. I would say after about two hours, I could not see the lipstick anymore and um, I did not reapply because I want you guys to see what it looks like after you know after my day so I just want to see if there's anything left on my lips so I'm going to use a makeup wipe just to see if any color will actually come off my lips well there <laughs> so you can see a little bit of it there um, but I do have to say that my lips are very hydrated they do not feel cracked or dry or anything like that. They do feel moisturized and I am very happy about that. But 
clearly there is still lipstick on my lips I just you just can't tell from looking at it because it was such a nude color as well that it's it's that it's hard to see that there's still some left on my lips maybe if it was a different color like the purple or the red you would still see some shade of that but because it's a nude color it's hard to see that there is still lipstick on my lips but that was my review of the sephora under the mistletoe lip story set if you guys like this video go ahead and give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe so that you can continue to see more swatch videos like this from me it really does help my channel and it helps me to continue to put out more content like this for you guys so that you can make a more informed decision about what shades may or may not work for you but that's all I got for this evening and I will catch you guys in my next swatch video. Bye.